It's the first day and there is a lot of noise, I'm afraid, because people haven't quite finished building. So if you hear a bit of hoovering or, oh, that sounds like a saw going on now, just stick with us. Now, one of the things we're hoping to do for you on Live at ERS is bring you highlights of some of the top sessions. Now, one of the most interesting is about e-cigarette use. Now, e-cigarettes are hugely contentious in the area of public health, and since the last ERS, there's been a major legislation change in the EU. Now, to tell us about that and our session, I'm delighted that we've got Constantine Vavadis uh, with us. Constantine, tell us about your session today and the main themes emerging. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here and to be able to present some of our interesting results at ERS here in Paris. So uh, over the past year, across the 28 European member states uh, covering half a billion people, we have a legislation that uh, regulates e-cigarettes, uh, many aspects of e-cigarettes. And uh, the area that we'll be focusing on tomorrow is uh, the reporting of ingredients, but also packaging and labeling, warning labels on e-cigarettes. So ERS is involved in the Horizon 2020 a European Commission funded project to monitor how e-cigarettes uh, industry, the e-cigarette industry is implementing the tobacco products directive across the EU and we've got some very interesting results that will come out. Just give me one taster of a result. A taster for this result. Uh, what we do see is that uh, since the implementation of the tobacco products directive we've noticed that now uh, more than 80% of uh, products that we've sampled within our project uh, now comply to the tobacco products directive which means in plain English that they now have warning labels and contraindications and leaflets explaining how to use. So it's a better way to inform consumers and it indicates that public health policy can work. Well, as our buzz saw is starting yet again back there, uh, can I tell you that if you want to look at the whole of that session, you can see it on Live at ERS Plus and very well worthwhile because it's something that patients will want to know about.